Greetings, Cougar Nation. Greg Grubel back with you in Norman, Oklahoma, where tonight the eighth-ranked BYU Cougars defeated Oklahoma by a final score of 2-0. I'm with head coach Jennifer Rockwood. Coach, what do you think? Um, really proud of our shutout. This is our third, I think our third one yep, in, in a, a row. row, something we've talked a lot about this season. Uh, our defense did fantastic. Oklahoma was a very dangerous team. They kind of had us on our heels for a little bit there uh, throughout the game. Um, but they were very direct, and that, that's really hard uh, to, to contain. Um, but our, uh, Lynette did a great job in goal, and our back four um, held it and held together. Lots of block shots. Lava had a block shot in the face. <laughs> and um, uh, but everybody, uh, I thought, played really well. This is a really tough to come into this place. Uh, and play Oklahoma. It was a very hard-working, physical team. And a great pace for this match from the start. You could yeah. tell from the start they wanted to play with you. They're desperate, too. I thought it was great back-and-forth action. Yeah, it was very back-and-forth, a little more back-and-forth than we would have liked. But like I said, they were they came in on fire. They were running hard. Um, they were dangerous. Um, you know, They got in front of our goal, and I think even maybe outshot us tonight. Um, but I think our girls did a really good job of, uh, at times, really settling down, keeping the ball, keeping the momentum. And then a couple of really phenomenal goals tonight. Yeah, when you win, every goal is a great goal. Uh, but tonight's goals were exceptional in their quality. Yeah, really exceptional. Right before the first half, we really needed it, too. We were, we were bending a little bit, and Sierra went in, had a great assist, and Rachel just put it away. And uh, the, uh, uh, the second goal comes on a great build-up as well that Ellie Waldrop finishes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Brecken to, to uh, Rach, and Rach had a nice move to Ellie, and Ellie put it away. And, and that really, you know, once you can get two in this kind of a battle, that, that helped us settle down a little bit. But Oklahoma was a really dangerous team. Um, really proud that we really were on the board. That's tough to do. It was on their senior night. They had a lot to play for. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so uh, with this win, you stay in the championship chase. Championship chase about right now. Absolutely. I mean, we're, we're looking forward uh, to Thursday, uh, Monday night, um, our last regular season game. I can't believe it's gone this fast. It's gone so fast. But, uh, you know, every game's important as we continue to build. All we can do is take care of our business and, and see what happens and see what happens. But we knew it would probably come down to the very last game of the season, and sure enough, it has. Overall, really proud of your team today? Absolutely. I thought they worked really hard. We had some great play by our bench again, which has been so key for us. So key. Season. And for a change, you're not hustling back for a quick turnaround. <laughs> Your next game's not for a game's not so you can uh, hopefully rest, recuperate, and really get ready for UCF. Absolutely. We need a need, need a little rest. We've been on the road quite a bit. So excited for senior night for our seniors, but uh, hopefully they'll have a lot more games ahead of them than just one night. Yeah, no doubt. All right, she's head coach Jen Rockwood. We'll come back with our second goal scorer, our first goal scorer tonight, but an assist on the second, Rachel McCarthy. Back in a second. All right, we are back here at John Crane Field in Norman, Oklahoma, where BYU defeats the Sooners tonight by a final score of 2-0. Rachel McCarthy. McCarthy had a goal and an assist in this one. Rachel joins me now. Rach, congrats on the big win for you guys. Thanks, Greg. And the production you had personally, too. How nice did it feel to contribute the way you did after missing a few games due to injury? Um, well, it's, it's fun to be back, and I've been missing it a lot, and so I'm just glad that I was able to get in and do something with the time that I had. And um, Yeah, definitely sucks being hurt. Uh, kind of still feel it, but... I'm happy to be back. Okay, we can't see it, but she dealt with a dislocated. <laughs> she has a brace. She had a, had a dislocated elbow and has come back really strong from it. Let's. Uh, this is late in the first half, still scoreless. And you can describe the build up to your first goal. Yeah, um, I remember we were building. We were building it up, and then uh, Jamie got it. Uh, we gave a give and go. I think Ellie got it, and then she gave it back to Jamie, who then found Sierra wide. Um, and Sierra crossed it, and I knew I needed to be back post, and there it was. And a beautiful volley finish, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. how, uh, how, how difficult is it, or how much have you worked on that in your career to make sure that you catch it clean the first time? Yeah, a lot. A lot of times. Uh, we, we really focus on doing crosses during practices and stuff, and just focusing on getting into the right position when or on cross when we're uh, working on crosses and stuff and so we've definitely dialed that down okay huge goal when it happened taking the lead at halftime you've never lost a game all season when leading at halftime and then the second goal another great build up maybe take us through that one yeah um i remember bocce getting bocce having it wide and then jamie started coming that way as well jamie got the ball she found me wide i kind of took a touch around the uh, defender 
and then dribbled at the defender, passed it back to Brecken, and Brecken found me back. One, and two, then, yep. yep. And then I, I could have shot it, but I I passed it to Ellie, and she finished it for us. So. And Ellie's been on fire, too. Yeah. And really, with this team, it comes from so many different sources right now. They're scoring up and down this roster, isn't it? Yes, yeah. A lot of, a lot of players scoring for us and uh, finishing goals that we really need. Okay. In crucial times, sorry. Back, that's right. Oh, it's all good. Uh, back, back to your injuries for just a minute. Yes, um, it was in Austin uh, when it happened, mm -hmm. and uh, and and that set you back for a couple of weeks. Yeah. And and what's it like to, to not be able to contribute while you're trying to get healthy, watching your team, uh, you know, work and 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 win without you? Mm -hmm. How hungry are you to get back on the pitch? And then how is it dealing with that as you as you're in the game? Yeah, uh, I uh, the first week was uh, especially difficult because they. It was then we were going to travel, and I didn't know if I was going to travel or if I was just going to stay. But I stayed, and I just wanted to. When I when they got back, I just wanted to be ready. But I knew like it was too soon, and I was still hurt and stuff. And so I definitely makes you appreciate the game and appreciate what you have before you you know like before things happen, before you get hurt. And so now that I have this chance to be back out again, I want to take most of it and finish the season. With dubs. <laughs> yeah. You you hit the deck a couple times tonight. You got taken yeah. down. You got to fall right the right way, don't you? Now? Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I, yeah it's a, I'm trying to learn how to fall. Because so. <laughs> obviously I did not fall right in, <laughs> in Austin. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you are uh, still chasing a title here down the stretch, and some things have to happen for you, but all you can do is what you can do, which is win games. Yeah. How exciting is it to be nearing the postseason tournament time, both conference and NCAA? Yeah, it's going to be our first time at uh, this team doing a conference tournament, yeah. and so it's definitely going to be different. I mean, that's more games, I think, more games than we've mm -hmm. played uh, before going into another tournament, but I think we're in a good spot. Um, and that we're we're excited. We're excited to, for that tournament, and we're excited for the the NCAA tournament and what is to come because we definitely are trying to get to where we want to be, like we did two years ago, yeah. and win the Natty. So, in the Big Twelve, there was only one team that did not lose or draw a game on the conference road, and that was BYU 5-0. That was still pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I did not know that, but that's awesome. <laughs> All right. So exciting. Awesome win tonight. Rachel, yeah. congratulations to you Thanks. and to the team. And for Rachel McCarthy and head coach Jennifer Rockwood, I am Greg Grubel with the Cougs in Norman. Go Cougs.